What's good traders? Welcome back to a brand new video on the Brazil FX trading. So in today's episode traders, I'm reviewing my moving average strategy. I know most of you are a beginner trader, you start using indicators, but you don't know how to use them the right way. So in this episode, I'm going to be showing you how do you use indicators and be able to uh profit from the market mostly by using the uh moving average so i'm going to be showing you exactly on how i use the the moving average indicator and be able to make thousands and thousands of us dollars from the forex market so guys if you're new around here make sure to subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell so that you never miss out whenever i post a video let's go traders So the first thing, what is a moving average? Moving average basically they help you uh, smoothen out price action. So it's it's one of the best indicators if you want to smoothen price action for yourself. It's the best indicator to use. So today I'm going to show you how you use it on this NZ chef trade. But first of all, uh, advice: trade only a few current pairs and you'll have an edge over them. When you trade too many current pairs, you won't have an edge over them since you're trading too many pairs. So trade only a few current pairs and then you'll have, a, oh, I have an edge over them. So we go come to our chart here. So first of all, the first thing we're going to, uh, how do I apply our indicators? So just tap anywhere on your screen like this. Or you want, if you want, you can tap this middle part here, which is the, the sense for indicators. Then you tap that, add, then you're going to add a moving average just like this. Uh, we're going to add, this is the 21 EMA. As you can see exponential exponential and the reason why we are choosing the exponential moving average because it tracks first to price changes and also here we're going to modify our uh, uh, how big do we want our moving average to look like the line and also our traders we are using mt5 so we're not using mt4 so that's why you see this is more of a good upgrade as you can see so we said done as you can see so so far we have one moving average so now let's add another moving average Remember, we should have two moving averages, as you can see, just like this. Then we're going to make this 50 and then make this color. We're going to make this color blue. It's a good color to use. Yes. This is also exponential because it changes fast to price. Changes, traders. So these are the best settings for the moving average. So if you're a trader and you don't know how to use the moving average indicator and uh, you don't know the best settings, these are the settings. So. The first thing how do we use them so the first thing i always like to use the moving average to identify the trend of the market so how do i identify the trend of the market so i go to the daily time frame like this <clears throat> so when i'm in a downtrend it means my price is going to be ranging i mean it's going to be moving downwards but below my moving average as you can see so if i zoom out you can still see price is moving below my moving average so meaning this is i mean a downtrend market so whatever we are doing we are going to be uh selling because if you have a downtrend market you would like to sell you would want to sell since you're in a downtrend market so you have to trade with the trend of the market but since also we have been trading for quite some time you know price always has to come to a reversal pipe part so you can see price this was the high, the lowest point price suppressed it now it came down here so now this is the, our lowest point and then we see signs of reversal which i'm going to be telling you about so here whatever we're doing we are looking for buys you're not looking for sales because we see price reversing and i'm going to tell you why we are looking for buys so the first thing how i like to use my moving average so i want to always come to the four hour time frame so the first thing as i said we like to uh moving average is smooth and out price action so whenever we have uh steep sales like this we always have to have consolidations and most of these consolidations most of the times people don't know where they will end but most of the times we never have a consolidation like this it will uh consolidate until it reaches this moving average and this is where we see a sign where price now drops you can even see that we had a hanging man there this is a hanging man this one indicator that tells us now it's time for us to sell you can even see the next the other candles where momentum candles sell 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 you can see so this is the what what i'm trying to mean so this is what we had as our consolidate consolidation market as you can see so we had price uh consolidating until that the hanging man and hanging man happened at a moving average and most of the times whenever you have uh reversal candles at that moving average you are always we are going to always be looking in for sales so i will take my trade down there then i will take another trade down here most of the times whenever price is retracing of my uh, whenever price is retracing and how do you say retracement guys even though you apply your fibonacci so 
I'll show you when they apply your Fibonacci retracement from up here to down here. You see traders that Paris up here, you can see Paris stopped at the 0 0.6. Price stopped at the 61.8 level, which is a reversal part for. So this is where we do take our trade. But most of the guys will take that trade after price breaks the this level here. But again, this is another part where I will take my trade. So traders, how do you use the moving average? Always, whenever you are waiting for a retest, take the retest off the moving average. I'll show you another part here. So we we'll would use the Fibonacci here, and then this is our level of reversal because even price filled up the fair value gap that we had did there. And reversed and also this would be another good point to take this trade so this would be also another good point since we have an impulsive move and you, most of you guys know me whenever i see impulsive moves in the forex market again i apply the fibonacci from swing low to swing high i mean from swing high to swing low just like this trade as you see it's the same story that you have price reverses at the zero point this 50 level point remember when we are using the Fibonacci from here to here, this is 100%. So we want to see how much of price will retrust. And then we see a reversal. You can see price retrust 50%. So we take our sell trade. But again, you can see the 50% was at the, exactly like the yellow moving average. The blue one is the 50 moving average, EMA. EMA stands for exponential moving average. So again traders how do you take your trades or is take your trades off the moving average moving average can, can be a confluence for you if you apply it with the fibonacci retracement and maybe some support and resistance zones also that can work for you so as we are going now now uh, what happens when this moving average when paris crosses the moving average so this is where we see now a reversal this is where we see a reversal so when i come to one hour, my one hour time frame you can see we already have uh, the moving averages have crossed here and then we see paris shooting up but this wouldn't be the case for me to take my trade. No, I always want to see the four hour candle. So I always like to see when the moving averages cross with this what? When they, when they cross on the four hour candle. And so when they cross, then I know price is going to reverse. But again, before even I go there, one of the signs that I look out for is divergence. So divergence is where we have price coming down like this. And then let me add my RSI so that I can show you what divergence means. So divergence is another key indicator that I always like to use to see if price is going to reverse. So let's add our RSI. So divergence, what is divergence? Before even I tell you about divergence, let me add an indicator so that I can tell you what divergence is. So I'm going to I add the RSI. RSI stands for Relative Strength Index. It's right here. So it already has its settings. I'm going to go with its default settings. I'm not going to change anything, but uh, so this is my indicator right here. So what I what, what we are looking for, we are looking for price moving up like this and then price moving down like this. So let's draw out of that. So this is what we mean by divergency, like this. We have price coming down like this, and then we have price coming up like this. So this is what we call divergency. So this is the opposite of this one down here so this one tells us that we price is going to reverse and go up and also you can even see that price shot up with momentum it has given us this big impulsive move so this is uh the reversal sign that i'm always looking for it's called divergence whenever i see this it means price is going to reverse and also so let's remove but again guys this is called divergence it's a reversal sign this is how i know price is going to reverse it doesn't matter what pair I'm trading, but whenever I see the divergence, at least price has to reverse either major way or not major way. So price, you can see price reverses now. How do you know that price is going to retrace? Most of the times price retraces off the blue moving average. You can see since price shot up with momentum, we always had to have retracement or we needed to have uh, rejection from the buyers and then sellers come back into the market. You can see that it happened at the forward candle. So even when I put here, you can see. So meaning we ha we're having a retracement coming in. So the retracement will come back up to the yellow line. This is where we shall take our next trade when price comes back to the yellow line. But again, traders, this is a very simple strategy to use. This is a very simple strategy to use. Here we had divergency. So uh, other people, if they knew about uh, divergency, they would have taken their trade just here. Let me show you, traders. So since this is our this is like our major zone this is like a resistance so 
Now, anyone who wants to take a trade, they should wait for Parish to come back and retest here at the red line. At the red line, so I'm going to make even the red line bigger so that you can know where to take your trade. Traders, that red line is where you have to take your trade and Parish comes back to retest because at down here, down here, this was this was a resistance, so meaning price has broken, so it has to come back and retest here. So we are going to wait for our retracement to come in and then we shall take our trade. So this is the moving average, but you can add confluences using other RSI and divergency traders. So this is a very good strategy you can use to grow your account, even though small. If you want to make crazy amounts of the money, you can use this strategy. Same strategy, it works on all pairs. It works on all pairs. Whenever you want to take a trade off the moving average, wait for price to retrace off the moving average and look out for your reversal indicators traders. So a few moments later. So traders, as I told you, we price has to come back and retest off the yellow moving average. And I even drew for you the red line where we take our trade. So you can see price has already tapped into our red line. So what we had to do guys, we had to, to place a uh, buy limits we have to place buy limits so that when price came back down with this big momentum candle this one right here price would just tap into us and then you know it takes us up because this would be already more than 50 pips this would be already more than 50 pips but again the times where you miss on opportunities but again you can see we had the pin back candle in there that we tested in our moving average guys but again there's no regrets this is all the learning process guys this is all a learning process. Even though you apply your Fibonacci from the swing low to the swing high, like this, you can see traders that price retraced from the 50 level. Even when I move my, even when I remove my indicators now, I'll show you. Now this is clean chart. You can see price reverse at the 50 level. But again, there is no regret. There's no nothing. I hope guys you have understood how to use the moving average. I've showed you how the retest came about. You can even see the retest came exactly at the red line as I told you. So this is why you, you take your uh, so your buy trades now to shoot to the upper side. One thing guys you should always learn to use is buy limits and sell limits. Most of the times when you are going to miss out on trades but price has not yet started shooting up in any form. So we shall wait for a double retest. Sometimes you can receive more than one retest. So let's see if we can see a double retest. Then we shall take our nice trade. And I'll be recording all this in the next videos, guys. Yes, traders. But uh, again, price shot up. This would be worth more than 50 pips, actually. Let's go to our trading view and calculate that. This is NZ Chef. Let's calculate that how many pips have has market so far moved up. If we had set our buy limit, let's see from here. So, as you can see, price would be already up 20 pips. So, for, for our 20 pips challenge, we would be already done with the 20 pips. Yeah. But again, guys, this is a good strategy to use. Just using uh, the moving average, you can use it for your retest and everything. Make sure to apply to your trading system. This is the best phone strategy, guys. You can use and be profitable in the forex market. Don't over rely on indicators. Just use them to price, to smoothen out price action for you. But don't rely on them so much, guys. It's a very simple strategy. You can adopt right now, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.